And good afternoon, everyone. This is Kilo Charlie Non Victor Kilo Victor. My name is Jim, and this is the Friday Afternoon QSO Vlog Network. This is a directed network, and I am net control. If at any time during this net, should an emergency arise, please notify net control, and we'll stand by and allow those in need to access this frequency. Is there any priority or emergency traffic at this time? And hearing nothing, we will continue. This net is all about ham radio and being all that you can be. That's what our QSO VLOG network is all about. Trying to help people achieve the best sounding station possible. Thanks for dropping by. FYI, my background is 50 years in commercial broadcasting, where a lot of big bucks are spent on audio processing equipment and getting it set up correctly to get the loudest, best sounding station possible. Well, long story short, when I became a ham radio operator, I could hear immediately a large discrepancy in on-air technical proficiency. A lot of stations were running with very poor mic equalization, very muddy, with little articulation. And as I continued to work stations, I realized most of the stations were also running very low average peak modulation, many around 30% of average peak modulation. So with my background, I felt I could help, or at least try. I knew that most modern-day ham transceivers did have enough onboard processing equipment to be able to overcome most all of the problems. So it would just be a matter of developing a generic dynamic range setup procedure and then adjusting the onboard EQ gear. And so I started the QSO VLOG network with the phrase, if you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. And today we're currently featuring over 2,500 QSO VLOG air check recordings. And you can access these recordings by going to YouTube and doing a call letter search for KC9VKV followed by the word logbook. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor followed by the word logbook. And we also have a new series called KC9 VKV Highlights. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor followed by the word highlights on a YouTube search. These are some of our less technical and more human nature philosophical kinds of QSOs. That's KC9 VKV Highlights on a YouTube search. Both KC9VKV Logbook and KC9VKV Highlights are segments of our main YouTube homepage of Jim's Radio Story, where we celebrate a 50-year career in commercial broadcasting. A 50-year journey from a 5-watt pirate radio station as a 12-year-old to production director of a major 50,000-watt AM broadcast facility. And the thing that makes this truly a unique story is that I have the actual audio masters from all along the way. Over 2,600 shows, including many full-length major music concerts and radio documentaries. You'll have to check it out and subscribe. Jim's Radio Story on a YouTube search. Our mission statement for the QSO VLOG network is to establish a higher technical level of radio transmissions of the human voice by the intelligent utilization of available electronics in current amateur radio transceivers. Our setup, while generic in nature, converts the average 10 dB dynamic range transmitter with an average 30% of peak modulation to a much fuller 3 dB dynamic range with an average 80 to 85% of peak modulation. This substantial boost in audio transmit level is extremely beneficial in high noise levels and heavy QRM. It allows you to punch through when others fail. The second part of our transmitter setup has to do with proper mic equalization. We're looking to optimize the transmitted voice for a higher degree of intelligibility through the use of EQ patterns that bring out the articulation aspects of the human voice. Again, why need to hear the voice if you can't understand the words? Also this afternoon on the receive side, we're running four internet SDR receivers, monitoring New York, Pennsylvania, Georgia, and Virginia, trying to get the best copy from our 100 watt friends. Now the audio from these four SDR receivers comes up on a six position rotary selector. Also on this selector is our local receiver audio. 
and today our local receiver is running three large 10-foot vertical magnetic loop antennas. One aimed at zero degrees, one aimed at 90 degrees, and the number three is aimed at 134 degrees. These are run as a directional scanner array with a manual voting system six-position rotary selector. Also today on the transmit side, we'll be running our no SWR specially oriented resonant dipole antenna. One leg of this resonant dipole runs broadside to Montreal, Canada. The other leg runs broadside to Miami, Florida. As we were constructing our station, our mantra was 20 over from Montreal to Miami with a hot spot through the Carolinas. And although conditions may vary, the general performance of this antenna supports its mission. Also today we'll be running our input source indicator. So when we switch from an internet SDR receiver to our local receiver, you'll be able to hear the switch and see the switch. You'll have to check it out on our YouTube QSO VLOG video. And as we come together for another Friday afternoon QSO VLOG network, let us pause just a moment for the amateur radio operator's prayer. Lord, we pray for clear 20 over S9 communications today. Let all our transmissions fill the air and reach their destinations QSA5 to be understood by all. And as we pray for good radio conditions, let us also pray for good human conditions. During this time of pandemic that has challenged us all, we pray that you will protect everyone, especially our elderly. And also, Lord, we seek your divine intervention to bring peace to a very divided United States. As we go through a very conflicting time in America's history, with dark clouds all around, we pray that you'll reduce life's daily political QRM between our brothers and sisters. And through your love and guidance, show us the way to find peace and harmony. Help us to communicate with one another 20 over S9. Thank you, Lord, and God bless and protect America. Amen. To continue, since this part of the band has many nets trying to operate in a very confined area, I would appreciate all stations checking into our QSO VLOG net to keep their band pass to no wider than 100 to 2900. And again, please, no wider than 100 to 2900. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG network. And now let's check in and see if Charlie K1GCL is on frequency to bring us up to date on the latest 40 meter band propagation. Charlie's QCH is up north in northern New Hampshire, near the Canadian border. Charlie, got a copy? Got a copy? Yeah, I've got a beautiful copy on you, direct uh, 10 over 9. 10 over 9. I hope, uh, I hope you're copying me on this beautiful, beautiful sunny day. Temperatures up to uh, close to the freezing point. KC9VKV, K1G, ZL. Roger, Roger, Charlie. I'm using New York and uh, getting a 10 over on you. Roger, Roger. Getting a 10 over on you. Roger, Roger. Okay, uh, Roger, Roger on that. I have a little bit of Captain Mike recorded a week, recorded a week or so ago. And, uh, uh, here he is. Uh, this will be just brief. Uh, here it is. Hundred there a few days ago. And uh, say what you want about the uh, RNL. They, uh, they really came through. They sent the thing. It came out in two days. It's uh, supposed to be arriving today. They might go up. Should have that in here uh, for the weekend. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm not sure where it's going from here. Uh, maybe. Uh, with Charlie over at uh, Danville, Illinois, here at uh, at 37. Charlie, you're you're five nine plus here. We're uh, showing uh, 80 knot tailwind right now with uh, 540 knots, or uh, moving almost uh, nine miles a minute here. Uh, K1 speeds and LK at full speed. Approaching that north of uh, Cincinnati here, but uh, anyway, I'm not sure who's left in here. But, uh, Okay, that's, uh, I'll cut it. Could you copy that, uh, Jim? KC9VKV, K1G, uh, ZL. Roger, Roger, Charlie, got it uh, pretty good there. Uh, you know, uh, do you have any further word on when your amp's going to be ready? Uh, when your amp's going to be ready? Uh, no, I don't. I uh, absolutely don't have any idea. Have uh, any idea? I understand that the wait is very, very extensive uh, down there in uh, Mississippi. Uh, they've been backed up uh, very badly with so, so many, uh, so many uh, people that have had uh, written in there. 
so I'm still waiting. My uh, uh, buddy up the road here, uh, KB1 Eyes, is that you, uh, 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 Bob, uh, he, uh, uh, he has uh, available an a, uh, AL80 Alpha, an AL80 Alpha, however, that is in a shed that's full of snow, and uh, he has not been able to uh, get, uh, get that out yet, get that out and fit it, and uh, check it out and see if uh, it uh, is operational. I understand that will put out 600 watts, will put out 600 watts. Uh, but the way I'm uh, working uh, now, just with the 7300 uh, barefoot, and uh, the length of line I have feeding this quad, uh, I don't think I've got more than, uh, at the very maximum, 60 watts. Uh, 60 watts uh, getting to uh, uh, this uh, three-element uh, diamond-shaped wire quad that I'm using, Jim. Uh, KC9VKV, K1G, ZL. Roger, Roger, Charlie, but if you're starting with 600 watts as opposed to 100 watts, so you're still going to have some uh, some loose change up there on that antenna, Roger. Loose change up there on that antenna, Roger. Well, it, uh, it should uh, increase the power four times, uh, no, six times, uh, six times, and uh, that certainly can make a difference, especially... Uh, when the uh, band is uh, poor. However, when Captain Mike is flying on his uh, runs between uh, uh, Sacramento, California and Philadelphia and vice versa, uh, there are times that he just uh, smashes in here uh, like he's right, uh, right in the room. And uh, the amazing uh, quality on those transmissions of his uh, you don't hear any whining noise, any engine noise, or anything. In fact, uh, I know uh, 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 I know his uh, voice uh, in person, uh, and I know Mike's uh, voice uh, in person, and he sounds uh, just the same uh, on the aircraft uh, as he does sitting right here. Or when he's transmitting from home in southwestern uh, Virginia, uh, he does a remarkable uh, job, even on the ramp, either in uh, Sacramento or in uh, uh, or in uh, Philadelphia. In Philadelphia, so that's uh, the way that goes. However, he's off for maybe two or three weeks. He's off for about two or three weeks before he will be um, uh, flying again on that uh, coast-to-coast uh, run. KC9VKV, uh, K1G, uh, ZL. Roger, Roger, Charlie. Well, today must be a very busy day because a lot of the uh, Internet SDRs are uh, up to capacity and uh, they have a waiting list. And uh, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, two of my favorites, uh, I'm on that waiting list of about uh, 20, 20 down, so I'm, they're not going to be much use to me this afternoon, unfortunately. But uh, we shall pursue uh, treasure on, Roger, Roger. Uh, treasure on, Roger, Roger. Okay, which SDR are you using, and where is it located, uh, Jim? I'm using uh, a Washington D.C. SDR at the moment. Uh, it's about uh, about three dB hotter than New York, Roger. Three dB hotter than New York, Roger. Uh, okay, uh, Roger. Uh, okay, uh, very very fine. Well, look, Jim, I'll let you go. I'll let you go, and we'll try to catch you next uh, Friday. Catch you next uh, Friday. I hope the uh, damage from that storm last week uh, is not uh, too uh, severe. It wasn't too severe. I understand you had a tree come down. Uh, how did that work out? Uh, did that work out okay? Is everything uh, running uh, properly at the present time? Go ahead. 
Yes, sir. It's just amazing that tree, uh, a part of it came down and wound up uh, resting on our roof uh, at an angle off to the ground. And uh, I took my trusty chainsaw over there and cut a couple of branches of it. And it uh, did a, uh, a somersault off onto the ground right over my uh, picket fence and only lost a few pickets there and uh, that uh, big thing is, is on the ground but uh, if since then I've had uh, that tree uh, removed <laughs> and it is uh, no longer uh, uh, a problem uh, ever ever again uh, it is uh, a, a little sawdust left on the ground where you once stood Roger left on the ground where you once stood Roger Oh yeah, yeah, I can understand. I can understand that. Let's hope uh, that you don't have any more violent uh, storms. Uh, as you were having that uh, storm, it was snowing up in South Bend and uh, Northern Indiana at the same time uh, that you were having that problem. So the dividing line between all that uh, cold air to the north last week and where you are uh, is, is just enough to kick that off. And we have a possibility, it's not a definite by any means, uh, but there is a possibility of a fairly significant storm uh, up here on uh, next, uh, next Tuesday, which is our voting day here in uh, New Hampshire. Uh, next Tuesday could be kind of wild uh, if this thing doesn't go out to sea uh, too far to the east and south. Uh, but it's uh, got the possibility that it may be a, a major low pressure area traveling uh, uh, off uh, the coast and uh, northeastward, probably east of uh, Cape Cod, uh, with the upper air uh, forming it to further to the west over the eastern Great Lakes. So we have to be very careful on watching what that uh, does. And uh, right now on the ground, we have, I'd say, between 22 and 25 uh, inches of snow on the ground, although today is a beautiful day. It's uh, sunny and uh, it was cloudy early this morning, but it has cleared off. And there's a little uh, storm to our southwest, but that's going out to sea. We're not getting that uh, first storm. Okay, Jim, I'll sign with you here. And I understand you're picking me up through uh, Washington, D.C. I don't know if that's the Arlington one or, or not. Uh, but uh, you're coming in uh, very, very uh, well indeed. Excellent, excellent uh, copy. KV9, VKV, uh, have a good week. Uh, hopefully we'll catch you next week. K1GZL, Clarksville, Northern New Hampshire. Roger, Roger, Charlie, always a pleasure, sir, and I'm, uh, you know, just uh, holding my breath for the return of your imp, <laughs> and uh, m me getting into uh, Milford, uh, PA, so uh, <laughs> when those two things occur, things will be just absolutely perfect, I'll keep praying. <laughs> 73 of that way, Charlie, sounding good, and catch you later. This is the Friday afternoon in QSO VLACnet, uh, my name is Jim, sometimes known in some circles as Dr. VKV. We are recording now live till 5, so if you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. We'll post this recording up on YouTube in the next couple of days. So when you go to YouTube, just do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word logbook. And that'll take you to our YouTube QSO Vlog page, where we're currently featuring over... Uh, 2,500 QSO VLOG air check recordings. This will be a cut number one in that series. We also have a new series called KC9VKV Highlights. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word highlights on a YouTube search. These are some of our less technical and more human nature philosophical kinds of QSOs. You'll have to check it out. KC9 VKV Highlights on a YouTube search. Well, let's uh, get on to business there and open it up. Uh, it's going to be an interesting afternoon because I can't get my uh, my SDRs up because uh, they're in use by other folks. So uh, I have uh, one that uh, is working fairly well. We shall see, we shall see how that goes. Uh, this is uh, KC9 VKV Friday afternoon. Kiss of VLACnet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Radio. You want to check out? Give me a shout. 
Kilo Echo 4, Bravo Foxtrot Germany. Bravo, Foxtrot, Germany. Come back slowly, phonetically, with the rest of it again. Phonetically, with the rest of it again. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, Tim. This is uh, Roger, uh, Kilowatt, Echo number four, Bravo, Foxtrot, Golf, in Powder, Tennessee. I'm running a Yaesu FTDX 101 MP 200-watt with a HAL headset, Pro 7, that got it yesterday and got it hooked up this morning. So, uh, hope you're having a good Yes, sir, Roger. Okay, let me see. Uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about your antenna system for about 10 seconds, and let me look around and see if I can find a better path for us, Roger. Around and see if I can find a better path for us, Roger. Okay. I'd say, uh, I'd say Georgia would probably work better for me, and, uh, the other one. So uh, anyway, you're running the end fed. Uh, my antenna's end fed, 75 through 10 or 10 through 75 meters with a 2kW ballon. And like I said, I'm just running 200 watts barefooted with a 101 MP. And uh, I hope the headset's working okay, RG. I'm back to you, sir. Yes, sir. It uh, sounds really good to me. Uh, um, you know, uh, it could use a little more in the syllabic range, but it, it has a nice uh, cut to it, and that's the whole uh, idea. Uh, you know, uh, the best way to run that, I don't know, uh, you know, how much room you have on that boom, but usually uh, I suggest moving that boom out uh, as far in front of you as you can get it, and then at the last minute take a 90 so that boom is in front of your mouth, but uh, out, as, uh, away from it as far as you can get, Roger. Oh, okay, okay. Audio, audio. Yeah, it's going up there like it was on the... See, the other time I had a... I got a, a let's see, a Yaesu M-1 reference desk mic. And uh, it's... Uh, yeah, I got the mic gained about 25% and the speech processor about 30%. And I'm running 100 to 2900, uh, like you say. So, anyway, the, the boom mic is probably about three to four inches away from the mouth. Yes, sir. Well, I don't hear uh, much mouth noise, so it's, it's just doing your, a great job. And, and the EQ is, uh, you know, very intelligible. So I would run it uh, uh, just like that. You know, double check your, your uh, ALC for uh, two thirds operation with the, the word audio on it, Roger. Roger, Roger. Thank you, sir. And I hope you're having a good Friday and a good weekend coming up. Thank you again, our, uh, my friend Jim. KE4BFG, Kylesby, Tennessee, near Dollywood. Have a good. Roger, Roger. Roger, 73. Uh, uh, let's see, that would be down that way. <laughs> I get my orientation straight. Sounding good, bud. And, uh, of course, we're recording this and uh, to hear your uh, good audio. Uh, I, and I was on my local antenna, and you were just uh, burning me up there. Nice signal. But to hear it, uh, go to YouTube, do a call letter search, KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook. That will bring up this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 2,500. And I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. So, uh, 73, Roger. Uh, this is the Friday afternoon Kiso Vlognet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Give me a shout. Heard a station back in there. Uh, station, uh, come back with your call sign again. Uh, station, uh, come back with your call sign again. I got to Kilo 9, uh, so yeah, I guess you're in my area. Uh, why don't you tell me, uh, Kilo 9, about uh, your antenna system for about uh, 10 seconds, and let me see if I can find a better path for us, Roger. Let me see if I can find a better path for us, Roger.
Roger Kilo Nine. I do not have a good copy on you, and I can't I, I can't get access to my uh, my best uh, SWR in Milford. So uh, uh, let me try Middle Tennessee. Maybe I can get a better copy on you there. Uh, come back uh, in. Uh, give me your call sign again, and I'll see if I can pull you out from uh, Middle Tennessee, Roger. I'll see if I can pull you out from uh, Middle Tennessee, Roger. Middle Tennessee, Roger. Gosh, I uh, wish I had a better copy, but I, I don't. Maybe conditions will get better uh, as the afternoon goes on. So if my signal comes up to you, uh, give me another shout and uh, try again a little bit later. Maybe uh, uh, conditions will be better. Uh, 73 for now. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VlogNet. If you have a radio or you want to check out, give me a shout. Echo. November 2 station, uh, come back slowly phonetically with the call sign. Uh, come back slowly phonetically with the call sign. Yes, November 2, Bravo Uniform Echo. The name's Ron, and I'm in Giftstown, New Jersey, Jim, over. Roger, Roger, Ron, New Jersey, and uh, what uh, radio are you running today, Ron? And uh, what uh, radio are you running today, Ron? Okay, Jim. Yeah, I'm running a Yezu FTDX10. Uh, that's the radio today, Jim. Over. Yes, sir. And uh, would you be interested in a setup procedure? Uh, would you be interested in a setup procedure? Yes, I would. Well, I'll let you know. I have the uh, the mic gain set at 40, the processor set at 30. And I'm running the EQ right now, Jim. Over. Uh, Roger, Roger. Okay, keep keep everything the same. Uh, what I want you to do is uh, uh, bring up your ALC meter with mic gain in hand, and as you say the magic word audio, adjust your mic gain until your ALC meter is running two thirds, Roger. ALC meter is running two thirds, Roger. Roger, Roger, Jim. Uh, right now, audio. And uh, ALC is at two thirds. I, I've uh, spoken to you a few times, and I always, uh, you know, keep the settings like you had uh, explained to me before. So with this rig here, I kind of did a premier, you know, uh, a premier uh, uh, type of uh, setup, and I was just uh, curious to see how I did. Like I say, have the EQ on. Oh, and the microphone's a, uh, a Heil uh, GM5. So that's the mic I'm using today, Jim. Over. Roger, Roger, Ron. Well, you just got it going on, bud. You got uh, you got that signal just uh, just perfect. I wouldn't change a thing. Your uh, your audio's got a lot of uh, intelligibility, uh, you know, EQ wise, and so I would uh, I would consider that a job well done. And uh, all the other parameters, uh, you know, that uh, AOC sounds uh, really nice, and uh, the uh, the compression at the three sounds nice, and the mic sounds nice. So, if you want to hear a nice radio that happens to be you. <laughs> if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9 VKV, followed by the word logbook on a YouTube search, uh, that will bring up this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of uh, 2,500 QSOV log air check recordings. <laughs> and I'll, whoops, <laughs> excuse me. And I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow, Roger. And I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow, Roger. Uh, Roger, Roger, Jim. Sounds very good. Yes, I, I've had this radio for about a week. Uh, I picked it up last week, uh, the other day, and uh, been enjoying the heck out of it. Before this radio, I was running the uh, ICOM 7300, and uh, I kind of like this FTDX then. The receiver seems to be a, just a tad bit better. Not uh, The IC7300 is a good rig. <laughs> It's, it's, they're very compatible, the two of them. But anyway, so, yeah, I was just curious how the audio sounded. Like I said, I've spoken to you before, and you pretty much, 
you know, told me how to set the rigs up, and I listened to you, and, and that's what I have. So, uh, looking very good. Okay, Jim, thank you a lot for coming back to me and giving me, giving me a report, and a very positive report. So, you take care, 73, and keep up the good work, Jim. KC9VKV. N2BUE till we talk again. Roger, Roger, Ron, 73, sir. You're sounding uh, really nice, and uh, I'm sure you will love your recording. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOGNET. My name is Jim, and we're recording now live till 5. So if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Looking around uh, the uh, country there, I'm on my local antenna right now. That's a Nineland uh, antenna. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. You want to check out, give me a shout. Looking up in New York right now, in New York, this is KC9VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO of VLACnet. Looking in the Washington, D.C. area at the moment, Washington, D.C., this is KC9 VKV. Here's somebody coming back. Uh, this is uh, KC9 VKV, the Friday afternoon QSOV like that. Well, if you would, uh, why don't you uh, give me about 10 seconds, tell me about your antenna system, and let me look for a better path. Roger, Roger. System and let me look for a better path. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger, PCP. I do not have access to my Milford uh, PASDR today. It, it has gotten so popular, there's 20 people uh, waiting in line with me. <laughs> so uh, I don't think I'll be able to be using that today, but uh, I do have you on my Washington, D.C. SDR, and uh, you're sounding pretty good there. So uh, everything going all right up that way? Pretty good there. So uh, everything going all right up that way? Yeah, don't forget, uh, like I said, I'm just on my way home, so uh, I'm operating uh, in my truck, uh, connected to my remote station at home, so, uh, but I'm just running barefoot, so maybe once I get home, I'll uh, totally amplify on and give you a call from there, QSL. Yes, sir. Well, right now you're giving me an 8-over, uh, well, you're actually giving an 8-over to the Washington, D.C. area, SDR, so uh, uh, there you go, and give me a shout, yeah, when you get home. 73, sir, and have a great afternoon. This is uh, the Friday afternoon QSO VLOGNET. Uh, my name is Jim, and we record now live till 5. And if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. And if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Hello, Jim. This is Roger again on another radio. Q uh, Kilo Echo 4, Bravo Fox Trot Golf. Roger, Roger, Roger. <laughs> All right, sir. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's go for a setup on that one. Uh, that one needs a little setup. It's uh, pretty, pretty hot right at the moment. So, compression on at a three. Compressor on at a three. Out of ten or thirty. Out of a hundred. Roger. Out of ten or thirty. Out of a hundred. Roger. Okay. Icom IC seventy six ten with a SMP desk microphone. Right there, the, the processor is set from six down to three, and I'm running 30% on the mic gain, and I'm running 100 to 2900 on the filter. Yes, sir, exactly right. So let's move to your ALC. I think you're really hot into your ALC. So uh, bring the ALC up uh, and uh, with mic gain in hand. And as you say the magic word, audio, adjust the mic gain until your ALC is running two-thirds. Roger. Oh, okay. Audio, audio. Okay, let me go down here. Audio. I thought it was 25%, 25% audio. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot better. Uh, do I need to go down any further? 
Um, maybe just, uh, you know, but you call the shots there. You're looking at your AOC meter, so I want you to uh, to adjust it there. The thing about it is, you know, we're using that word, ah, which is uh, just, let, let me, I've got a little rant about that word. I mean, a lot of folks seem to think that word is strange, but, you know, I spent months looking for just that right word to utter to use as a human test tone reference to set a mic audio level perfectly. And as pure luck would have it, after months of relentless testing, it turned out that the perfect word to utter from a human mouth to set an acoustic to electronic transitional reference turned out to be the word audio. At least the first part of that word, the ah sound, when spoken into a microphone, will produce multiple frequency content from 25 cycles to 2kc, with first order, her order harmonics to uh, 4kc. Plenty of multi-frequency content to use as a quasi-pink noise human test tone reference to set a mic audio level. So tell me, how stupid should that sound? I mean, audio, if you have any doubts, look at it on a spectrum analyzer. Audio. And back to you there, Roger. Oh, okay. Well, that's uh, about three quarters away. So, anyway, our GM, I appreciate it, our sir. So, it looks pretty good on the ALC meter. I think I'm going to lock it down. Thank you again. Like I said, this is the ICOM 7610. And I normally run 100 watts now, where I was running 200 watts on the 101 MP. You have a great weekend coming up. KE4 BFG 73. Okay, Roger. Now, wait a minute. Uh, you know, uh, we're doing a 7610 here. And there is a, a special little feature on the 7610. It has a button, a button called Quick. Are you familiar with that button called Quick? Uh, I think I am. Okay, hit quick and tell me what drive is. You talk about a quick menu. There's a button on your radio on that 7610 called quick. And you push that quick button and it'll take you to drive, Roger. Oh, uh, okay. Right there I'm dead about 80 watts, about 80 to 100 watts. Right, but now uh, look at the what what uh, are the signal on your um, when you hit when you hit quick, uh, you'll it'll bring up the the drive uh, uh, page, and the the drive page will tell you what the drive is set at. Roger, uh, factory is fifty. Roger. That's what I got it set on fifty. Yes, sir. So move that up to sixty-five. Okay, it's up to 65 now. <laughs> All right, Roger. You got a you got a 108 radio right now, and if you want to hear that one uh, again, YouTube uh, on a, a search there for KC9 VKV logbook, cut number one in a series of 2500. I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. You have again, GMK4 BFG73. Yes, sir, Roger. 73, sir. Have a great afternoon, a beautiful weekend. This is the Friday afternoon, QSO VLOCnet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Kilo Delta 8 Zulu with the India. Uh, station, come back slowly, phonetically with your call sign again. Yes, that's Kilowatt Delta 8 Zulu with the India. KD8. ZWI. ZWI, Roger, Roger. And uh, what's the name there? Oh, very good. My name is Brian. It's uh, Brian with the Y. Uh, good afternoon. Roger, Brian. And uh, what radio are you running today, sir? Oh, very good, very good. Yeah, I'm running the FTDX10 uh, with about 400 watts into an Ameritron 811H. Roger, Roger. Brian, and whereabouts are you located, sir? I am in central Ohio, just north northwest of Columbus, Ohio. Roger, Roger. So I've got you on my local antenna uh, fairly well, and uh, so if you would like uh, to uh, uh, do the setup, it starts with you uh, making sure you're in that uh, wide 100 to 2900 transmit bandwidth, Roger. Oh, Roger. Yeah, I think I'm 50 to 3050 now. All right. Uh, what you want to be is 100 to 2900. 100 to 2900, Roger, Roger. 
Okay, Roger, Roger. This is 100 to 2900. Yeah, 100 to 2900 will give you the best performance for your, your transmitter. Anything less than that, and, and what happens is you start chopping off the bottom and the top. Well, that's all right, but the thing is, when you start chopping off the top, you're talking about uh, getting rid of uh, articulation and enunciation frequencies, and those are extremely important uh, in communications, particularly uh, with the situation of uh, HF radio and, and the bandwidth that, that we are uh, forced to use there so uh, I would I would uh, you know suggest that 100 to 2900 as uh, the best uh, band pass for uh, the best performance for your transmitter uh, once past that then we start the regular setup procedure it is the compressor engaged at a three that's a if it's a zero to ten it's a three if it's a zero to a hundred it's thirty Roger Okay, well, this is with the processor on 30, so 30 out of 100. Excellent, excellent. Now go to your ALC with mic gain in hand. And as you say the word audio, don't stress it. Just say it like you would say any other word in a QSO. Audio. Stretch out the front part of that word and then set your uh, uh, ALC meter at uh, two thirds by way of mic gain control. Right here? Ah, QSL, I got it. Audio. Uh, and uh, talk to me about 10 seconds and tell me about the thing you like best about your radio. Okay, well, very good. Yeah, KD8ZWI returning. Uh, what I like best about the FTDX-10, uh, there's two things. One is the, the contour feature. I think uh, Yesu's contour feature that they have in several of their radios is uh, really beneficial. And I also like the parametric EQ. I think it gives a little more uh, flexibility and control of your uh, transmit audio. And uh, this is KD8ZWI, back to you. Roger, Roger, Brian. Now I'm looking at your audio on a spectrum analyzer and I'm showing content all the way from, from 25 cycles on up to uh, uh, 3K, 2.9 in that area. Uh, so it's really very broad banded. Now I just wanted to caution you about what happens uh, sometimes Mother Nature has a way of pulling pranks. And here you have this great bandwidth and then she comes along and, and uh, decides to bend part of your signal back at another time and space. So when it comes back down to the same receive point as, uh, as the other signal, uh, they uh, in, could be out of phase with each other, and there goes the neighborhood. There goes your top end, just phased right out. And the only thing that's left is the low frequency, because cancellation, uh, phase cancellation starts from the top end and works its way down to the lower frequency. So, you know, you're going to lose that top end uh, right off the bat when if you have phase canceling. In, and then uh, you become Mr. Mumbles when you lose that top, you know, because you had such a great bottom. So because of that reason, I don't myself really stress a lot of bottom end, you know. I mean, it's nice and all, but uh, you do run into the problem of perhaps uh, running into phase cancellation and becoming Mr. Mumbles, Roger. Oh, QSL, QSL. So I think what you're saying is I've got a little too much on the bottom end. It sounds really nice, and uh, you know, if if everything is equal and the creeks don't rise, it's just perfect. But uh, you know, there is that uh, you know possibility. So I I would pull off. Uh, you have a parametric equalizer, Roger? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, uh, uh, that bottom frequency. Can you make that uh, two hundred cycles? Okay, yes, the uh, bottom is uh, 200 hertz. Alrighty, now, uh, can you give me a uh, width of 4? Do you have control over the width of it? Yes, I do. It's at 2 right now, and I'm switching to 4. That's 3, and that is 4. So 200, uh, the level is negative 3, and the bandwidth is 4. All right, uh, the bandwidth is 4, and uh, the frequency is 200. And I want to go two clicks uh, roll from where you are, just to listen to you. Two clicks, minus two clicks uh, at uh, 200 cycles, and let me hear it. Okay, this 
This is TD8 DWI, minus two, that's minus two clicks, uh, from negative three to negative five at the 200 hertz level. Roger, roger. Okay, uh, take two more down. Uh, minus two more. You know, we're, t we're talking 200, which is, uh, you know, a very low frequency. So uh, we might uh, just, you know, be uh, minus 10 here in a minute. But I'm going for, uh, you know, my idea of best audio, Roger. Oh, I, I, very, I uh, very well understand, yeah, and I appreciate the, the work. So we are at negative 7 now. Uh, we started off at a negative 3, and now we're at a negative 7, 4 clicks down. Roger, Roger. You still have content there at uh, 200 cycles. So uh, what we're doing is really get rid of some of that, get rid of some of that uh, sub stuff, and uh, sounding sounding pretty good. Uh, let's see. Why don't you give me about 10 seconds and tell me about uh, the best thing you like about your radio? Okay. Well, this is KD8ZWI returning again. Thank you for for the work. I do appreciate it. Uh, another thing I do like about the radio is how large the screen is. Uh, meaning it has a <laughs> it has a uh, DVI-D uh, jack in the back, and I can run it to my uh, my computer monitor, and uh, I don't see the best. So having that uh, having that large screen really really helps out during the normal operations. Uh, KD8ZWI, back to you. Roger, Brian. Now uh, I want you to go look at your ALC again, and again the the uh, degree is uh, two thirds. Uh, and, uh, you know, when you speak that word audio, just say it just like you would say any other word in a, in a QSO audio, and then adjust your mic gain for two-thirds on your ALC meter. And, uh, you know, the ALC meter runs from here to there, so two-thirds is just a, a little bit to the right of uh, mid-scale. Roger? Uh, yeah, I understand. I understand. Uh, so here goes uh, audio. 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 Okay, so I back the the AOC is back down. Uh, I mean, the mic and I started off at about a 35, and now it's down to about 20. Yes, sir. And I would suggest now, if you were to pull back off that mic about two inches, uh, pull back off mic about two inches, and let me hear you. Okay, and this is uh, back off the mic about two inches. Back off about two inches because I was uh, close talking. Yes, sir. I would I would go with that right there. What happens is. Uh, you know, there's two things that happen when you increase proximity to microphone. The first thing is the level goes up. The second thing is you have uh, a thing called proximity effect where the bass goes up. The bass line goes up the closer you work the microphone. So I think where you were just that last transmission is uh, just uh, ideal. Roger? Oh, very good. Very good. Yeah, the, the mic is on a boom, and it's actually a very comfortable position here. Uh, I don't have to lean up at all, and uh, I could uh, chat like this all day long. Excellent, excellent. So I would run it just like that. Get the duct tape out, the gorilla tape, I'm sorry. Get the gorilla tape out and taper it down, Roger. Oh, very good. Yeah, hey, uh, you know, that works for me. Uh, I, I do appreciate it very much. Uh, thank you. Uh, I always get educated uh, listening to work of people's radios uh, uh, with them, and, and especially me today here with mine. So I appreciate it very much, and uh, I hope you continue to do what you're doing. I think it's pretty awesome. Thank you, Brian. And uh, just uh, FYI, uh, on the set we have a, uh, a spectrum analyzer. And just a word about that spectrum analyzer. On the left-hand side of the spectrum analyzer, there's a white mark. And that white mark denotes uh, 100 cycles. And then there's two white marks on the right side of the uh, spectrum analyzer. The first one denotes 1KC. The, there's a blank uh, black spot, which is a 2KC. And the next white mark is uh, 4KC. So just a word of explanation, if you uh, go to YouTube and do a call at a search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook to bring up this recording, uh, when you look at the uh, spectrum analyzer, you'll be able to tell what's going on there. Roger? Oh, yes, absolutely. Uh, Roger on that one. I, I appreciate it. And I will be looking for the YouTube. I, uh, I can't wait to hear it, actually. So uh, thank you very much. Yes, sir. You'll be able to hear the beginning and, and the, the later on as we evolve into uh, uh, another uh, situation, another sound, and uh, you'll have then a choice of uh, which one you like like best. Uh, so let me say uh, 73, sir. Uh, sounding good. Get the tape out. The uh, gorilla tape, taper down. This is uh, KC9 VKV, the Friday afternoon, QSO Vlognet. And uh, if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. W-A-4-K-M, and I'm located, name is Kevin, located in Georgia. I want to try, I'm trying out a new mic there, over. 
Roger, Ken in Georgia, and uh, just out of curiosity, Ken, what radio are you running today? Ken in Georgia, and uh, just out of curiosity, Ken, what radio are you running today? I'm running the ICOM 7800, and I usually run a RE27 or a PR40, and I just got a, uh, I've got it on the ICOM 7800 there, over. Uh, they just went to my local antenna. I've got uh, probably uh, eight over on you uh, on my local antenna. So uh, why don't you uh, tell me about your antenna system for about 10 or 15 seconds, and let me listen to your audio. Roger? Roger, Roger. And I got a 992 with RE27. But anyway, uh, yeah, this uh, is, like I said, the ICOM 7800, um, and I'm running a... Um, the uh, new, I just got in today, it's a German uh, mic called a uh, Barodynamic uh, M70 Pro X. And um, I'm running a ladder line doublet about 80 feet in the air through a, um, a HF Auto Tuner PAL Star. And um, just wanted to see, I heard you in here, wanted to check and see. Uh, I'm normally on my 990 with an RE27, but I uh, wanted to see how this um, mic sounds to you on the uh, ICOM 7800. And the name here is Kevin. Uh, back to you there. Thank you. wa 4 Roger, Roger, Ken. Well, uh, gosh, uh, if you'd be interested in our setup procedure, first thing, make sure that uh, that radio is running in the wide uh, 100 to 2900 transmit bandwidth. 100 to 2900 transmit bandwidth. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Yeah, I've got it. I've had it for a few years. It's 100 2900 on the uh, bandwidth. I'm running no compression. And the mic gains about on 10, 11 o'clock, and the ALC is about a quarter to a half. And the bass is on, uh, let's see, bass is on four and treble is on five. Roger? Roger, Ken. Okay, so let's uh, go on with the setup procedure. Uh, you seem to be not quite as fat as uh, you could be, so our setup procedure starts with you engaging your compressor at a token amount, uh, a 3 out of 10 or a 30 out of 100, depending on uh, on how it's labeled there. If it's 0 to 10, it's a 3. If it's 0 to 100, it's uh, a 30. As, but you'll never hear it uh, really uh, operating on the air, so uh, we're just looking for a third of that compressor on on, Roger. Okay, hold on. Uh, Roger, Roger, I've got the compressor on. Let me find where I can turn the gain up on it. I've just engaged it. Roger, Roger, we're just looking for a third of it. Three out of ten, thirty out of a hundred, whichever comes first. Yes, sir. Uh, three is something that you'll never really hear on the air. That's why we uh, pick that. A three and a six are the same as far as compression actually working on the word. The difference is the six has suck up, uh, suck up between words. You know, it goes, you know, between words. Whereas a three, uh, it doesn't do that. But as far as actually working on the word, a three and a six uh, are about the same as far as activity of, on the actual word itself. But I'll tell you, uh, Ken, why don't you make note on that? It's just such a slight amount that uh, uh, we could pr go ahead with a set of procedure without it. But, but make a note that uh, when you find out where everything is, you want to set that compressor on a three. Roger, Roger. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Okay, yeah, my name's Kevin, and I'm trying to look for it now. I've had this radio a while, but like I said, I never run compression. Uh, let me, I'll, I will look for that a little bit later. Yes, sir. Okay, so let's move on to your ALC with mic gain in hand. And as you say the magic word audio, uh, just uh, don't stress it. Just say it like you would say any other word in a QSO. Audio. And uh, set your mic gain until your ALC is reading uh, two thirds. Audio. And uh, mic gain adjustment to uh, two thirds on your ALC. Audio. Audio. I'm coming up a little more 
Okay, audio. Okay, that's about two thirds. Alrighty, and uh, let's see, why don't you uh, tell me a little bit about uh, your antenna system? Okay, yes, I'm running a uh, ladder line couplet, 130 foot, uh, 35 foot of wire, and it's a uh, 81 foot of ladder line, and uh, again, like I said, I'm running it through a Powerstar HF auto tuner, and uh, I've got an SWR about 1.13, which is pretty good, and uh, I, don't, I was waiting on the app to warm up, and of course this radio, I'm running about 200 watts, uh, WA4KM. Roger, Ken, do you have uh, additional power in your uh, power amp, uh, Roger, Roger? I've got an AL1500 here, but it's going to take about three minutes to warm up. I, I wasn't quite ready <laughs> Uh, roger that, roger that. Well, as we kibitz along, maybe you can have it uh, uh, warming up on standby, because I would love to hear you a lot cleaner than, than we're, I'm currently clean, uh, hearing you. Uh, but uh, we could go to your EQ. What kind of EQ does that radio have? Uh, this one this has bass and treble on the Kenwood 7800. Uh, roger, it don't have an EQ in it like, say, my Kenwood 990. Yes, sir. Well, you know, sometimes that's good, sometimes that's bad. Simplicity, as far as a, a two uh, bass and treble EQ is, uh, you know, you can't get simpler than that. And uh, the thing is that you don't wind up with uh, uh, pluses and minuses. You know, if you were to feed a steady state tone in there, and you've got all kinds of gyrations on this multiband thing, you're going to wind up with holes in the in the frequency. So uh, the thing about uh, a, a treble boost is that it's a very uh, linear path uh, as far as push and uh, so it doesn't you don't wind up with holes in between there you know so I would suggest maybe two clicks push additional from where you are on your treble control Roger Roger okay let me look it's almost all the way up hold on okay it only goes to five and my base is on four and my treble is all the way up on five, Roger. Ah, Roger. And what mic are you running there? I'm running a uh, German Barrel Dynamic M70 Pro X. I normally run a uh, RE27, Roger. Yes, uh, I would say that that, uh, that microphone has... Uh, what is the impedance of that microphone? I think it's 350 impedance, and the uh, range is from 25 hertz all the way to 18,000. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, I'm noticing that uh, there's not much in the bottom end. Uh, so it has, uh, does it have a, uh, a low frequency roll switch on it? Uh, no, sir, not this one, though, no. like the RE27. No, it don't have any switches. Yes, sir. It's a, I would uh, classify it as deficient in the bottom end uh, from where you should be in that, uh, that other Electro Voice microphone. Would, uh, uh, do you, can you uh, sub that Electro Voice mic for the one that you have running right at the moment? I want to get you uh, down there. You, you know, we're still going to roll off there under 200 probably somewhere because you want some nice uh, sharp audio, but uh, that one is, is rolling a little too fast, too quick. Uh, probably rolling out at about uh, 350 or cycles or somewhere in there. And that's the, the whole thing that, that uh, not all microphones are created equal, whereas they're usually pretty well uh, frequency response within the mid ranges as they go to the end and the top uh, they start to uh, 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 differentiate between one mic and the other How about that? I was turning the amplifier on. I don't know if that's helping out enough or not. Does that seem to help? Over? Uh, yes, sir. You're about uh, 12 over now, Roger. You were about uh, uh, 6, 7 over before. Okay. Uh, well, that's uh, 
Yes, sir. Sounds really nice. Now, uh, which mic are you using? That the other mic or using the Electro Voice mic? Uh, hold on. Let me unplug it. I'm on the uh, the uh, Barra Dynamics, and hold on. I will unplug it and put the uh, uh, RE27 on one thing. Roger, this is more an experiment for me. I mean, you can get by with that other mic, uh, the original mic, if you want to. I'm just curious about the the Electro Voice mic uh, differential. Okay, here is the uh, Electro Voice mic, RE27. This is the one I normally run on it, uh, WA4KM. Oh, just beautiful. <laughs> just uh, just right as it stands, just beautiful. I, I, I would run that microphone, Roger. Okay. Well, actually, we were experimenting with the uh, new um, the mic. I wasn't sure. I, I knew the SRE27. I've got about three of those and a PR40, and they tell me the uh, PR40 is just mushy and uh, bassy, and, and this uh, RE27 has a little more brightness, but bottom man, will you concur with that? Yes, sir. And uh, there is no... Uh, how far off uh, mic are you running right now? Uh, maybe about a fifth, three, four inches, possibly. Yeah, no uh, transients, at, no mouth transients at all. Just, just clean, Roger. Okay, and I am running the uh, the little phone thing that come with it when I bought it on all the uh, microphones. And like I said, I'm maybe a fist away or so, three or four inches. Yes, sir. Looking at your uh, audio on my spectrum analyzer, you have content down to 200 cycles, uh, but uh, not a bunch. But uh, it's very nice. You have a very nice bottom end with that microphone. I think you'll love your recording. I'll have it uploaded to YouTube by noon tomorrow. So if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word highlight, I'm sorry, followed by the word logbook, uh, that will take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 2,500 QC. Sophie Log air check recordings, and again, I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. If nobody wants to check in here a little bit, I'll stand by. Thank you so much. Uh, just got uh, the 990 in. If no one comes in, maybe um, I might check that one uh, as well. And I've got the amp on standby with it as well. <laughs> Yes, sir. Now, the thing is, that we, you know, when you switch mics, you should always go back to your AOC and double-check your level because, you know, very few mics uh, have the same output. So it's always good when you switch mics to go check your AOC. Again, uh, with mic gain in hand, the word is audio and two-thirds on the AOC. Audio, yep, that's, it's, it's about in the same spot. Maybe it's between half and, and two-thirds. Audio, yes, sir, that's two-thirds. Excellent. Yes, I can see that here. Uh, and uh, I'm looking at your signal on the uh, spectrum analyzer, but I'm also looking at it on a, uh, a VU meter. And I can tell, I've looked at VU meters for about 50 years, and I can usually tell where the VU meter is going uh, before it leaves the post uh, as to how hot it is. And, and you can get a good idea of uh, the dynamic range because the way the uh, VU meter uh, operates. Uh, you know, like um, if uh, my view meter was tied uh, to a PA system without any processing, as a, p a person spoke, the meter would just bounce around, you know, uh, from zero decibels uh, down to minus 20. Uh, and uh, the human voice uh, is a 10 dB uh, dynamic range unprocessed. So, you know, for uh, radio, we want that to be fatter. So we start to close in that decibel range. And uh, w w ideally, 3 dB is uh, the, the uh, ideal uh, uh, dB uh, range because uh, that uh, is so fat but if when you go past 2 dB uh, I mean 3 dB and it starts to, to blur and uh, that defeats your your purpose you know so we found that uh, uh, 3 dB dynamic range is just uh, just ideal Roger Roger But I, I lost you there, uh, Ken. I don't know whether your power amp failed or what. Oh, maybe you're changing radios. Yes, sir. He said breathlessly coming up <laughs> from the underneath the desk. Yeah, I was 
was trying to get to this radio here where it would give me some more power out um, on, on this one here. I don't understand what's going on. But anyway, yeah, this is the, um, let me see if I can get this amp to come up. This is the uh, Kenwood 990 and RE27. I've been running this one for a while. I've had the um, other one for several years. Um, so yeah, 7800. This one's a new one in the shack. Yeah, we keep our fingers crossed on that power amp coming up. Okay, there we go. Sorry for operator error. There we go. <laughs> Somehow I got turned over to the uh, transverter. Um, uh, this is the, uh, the Kenwood 990, and it does have an equalizer built in. And I'm running a solid state 1306, and evidently my fingers, and I've not got very good vision. Uh, I had hit the um, DVR or DRV for some reason, but maybe you can probably hear me now that I'm running about. Same thing, about um, a thousand watts. Uh, Roger, Kenya, uh, same signal pretty much. Uh, audio is not quite as good as where we had set on the other one, so I would suggest, uh, you know, going through that setup procedure, make sure you're in that uh, 100 to 2900 transmit bandwidth, Roger. Okay, well, it's on 10 and 2900 on this one, but I can put it on 100. Hold on. Okay, here is the uh, 100 and 2900 range uh, on this one here. Excellent, excellent. Now go to your compressor on at a 3, and compression on at a 3 if you can do that. That's uh, 3 out of uh, 10, 30 out of 100, Roger. Okay, uh, that's about a 5. Let me, I can cut it back a little bit. Let me cut it back. Okay, that's about... Uh, you know, it goes from 0 to 10, and I'm somewhere between 3 and 5, uh, over. That's great. That's great. Now, uh, to your ALC with mic gain in hand, and as you say the word audio, adjust your mic gain, and to your ALC is two-thirds. Yes, sir. it was interesting. I was watching the view meter, and it just kind of faded up there about uh, 3 dB um, hotter than what it was, so it did, did make a difference. Now, um, I would go to your uh, EQ page. Okay. All right. Uh, what kind of EQ do you have? How many is probably? I'm going to guess and say 15, 16 band EQ. Alrighty, uh, let's uh, go up. Uh, do you have anything at uh, 2.7k? 2.7k top in? Yes, I've got from 0 0.03, 0 0.06 all the way to 5.1, and 2.7 right now is plus five. Okay, uh, and do you? Uh, can you give me a four width? I can. Hold on. Okay, let me see. Well, let's get out of this. You talking about the four KCs wide? Uh, no, uh, four width. As far as uh, the uh, ballistics of the push uh, frequency, in other words, the broader that push frequency is, or the more narrow. Uh, so, uh, y if you can do that, uh, a four width uh, on your uh, two point seven K equalizer, Roger. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, you should see that now. That is um, that's 100 to 4,000. I'm sorry, uh, what was that? That is 100 to 4,000, or 4,000. Oh. 
Is that you're talking? You're talking about your transmit bandwidth. Yes, is that what you were referring to? No, sir. Pull your transmit bandwidth back to 100 to 2900. Uh, that will be the operating bandwidth for the radio. Uh, we will not change that. 100 to 2900 is the optimum performance uh, for your radio. If you if you go higher than 2900, it's nice, but you have people coming to look for you with pitchforks. Roger. <laughs> Roger that. Okay, I put it back to uh, 100 and 2900. Yes, sir. Now, uh, on your EQ, uh, on your EQ page, do you have an equalizer at 2.7K? Yes, sir. It's uh, plus 5 right now. Yes, it's right in the middle of the equalizer, 2.7, yes. Okay, can you, uh, how far can you push that to 2.7? Um, I can go up one more to plus 6, and that's as high as it'll go right there. It's all the way in the top. That's plus 6 at the very top now. Okay, sir. Now, do you have a width control for your equalizer page? In other words, uh, is there a width control for each frequency? Oh, no, sir. No, it's not like the Yezu. It just ha it does not. All right. Uh, so, uh, but you do have a variable frequency capability, right? I'm not sure what, the, what you're saying. I, I'm, I'm not familiar with that. I just know I got from point zero all the way to 5.1 and everything in between. Roger. So what is the frequency push below 2.7? Directly below 2.7, what's the next frequency? Oh, okay. It's 2.4 and then 2.1, 1.8. But the one right below it is 2.4. All right. Take 2.4, max out with uh, 2.7. Just take that 2.4 max to uh, the same as the 2.7. It is, along with the 2.1. They're both maxed out. What's the one below 2.4? Uh, 2.1. Uh, Just out of curiosity, is that one maxed out also? Yes, sir. Okay, what about 1KC? Is that flat? Uh, none of them's flat. Um, the, the, one, the next one is 1 1.8, and it's down 1 plus 5. All right, so what we want to do there is, uh, you know, we're talking about that mid-range, flatten that mid-range. Uh, that's really important uh, to uh, run a flat mid-range uh, uh, equalization situation. So everything from 400 cycles to 1.5K should be flat, plus or minus zero. Everything from 400 cycles uh, to uh, uh, 1.5 uh, uh, should be in the flat range. Roger? Okay, well, I'm assuming that's going to start around a 1.2, 1.5, and 1.8. Is that correct? No, the other way, from 400 cycles uh, coming up. 400 cycles flat, next one up flat, 1KC flat, uh, 2KC flat, uh, uh, 1.5KC flat. Oh, okay, hold on one sec. So we get that uh, mid-range flat. I mean, almost any microphone has a decent mid-range. So we, uh, you know, just flatten that stuff and we do our... our if the thing is, see, if you push your mid-ranges, it's so much harder for your top and your bottom to catch up because the whole idea behind an equalizer is to strike a balance between the mid-range and the top and the mid-range and the bottom. And if you push the mid-range, you can't catch up with your top and bottom EQ. Roger? Okay, Roger that. I took um, I took it down, which would be from zero nine, one point two, and one point five, which is that four hundred range. They are on zero. They're on zero now. Alrighty, and uh, so do you have anything at uh, two hundred cycles, or can you uh, give me a two hundred cycle uh, uh, EQ? Can you adjust that at two hundred cycles? Well, I'm, they're they're showing it on this nine ninety as um, it starts at zero, which is the bottom end, and it goes to point three, and then point six, which will be, I think, the one hundred and two hundred cycles way I've I've, I've learned. Yes, sir. Well, uh, let's take that to bottom control. Uh, does it have a name, or is it just there? It's just there. It says the uh, the one to the farthest left, which is the bottom end, it starts at zero, and it's on minus three, and. All right, go ahead and take that uh, all the way to minus whatever it can go. Take it as far into oblivion as you can frequency uh, uh, attenuation, Roger. Okay, it is on minus 24. All righty, now uh, why don't you tell me about uh, the best thing you like about your, your radio and let me listen to you for a minute. Okay, 
Uh, this is a new new to me radio. I had a uh, Kenwood 890 before this, a new radio, and I was wanting the uh, had a 990 years ago and had a little trouble with it, so I had um, sold it, and then I got another 990 because they had some big updates. This is the uh, flagship Kenwood radio, and uh, and I wanted dual uh, receive and a 200 watt radio, so. Um, Anyway, uh, WA4KM, and the next one uh, will be the 0 0.3, which will really do the boom boom, I guess, as they call it. Uh, over. Uh, so I just want to do that bottom frequency, that that uh, unknown quantity all the way. Uh, everything else, uh, uh, you know, should be, uh, that, that uh, 300 should be flat, uh, just out of curiosity. And I want you to also go back and double check your level on your ALC, because we've been uh, pretty extensively EQing. And when you do that, you need to go back and refer to your ALC audio with Mike Gein in hand. Roger. Roger. Yeah, I noticed it went down. Okay. Audio and audio. Okay, I've got it back up. Yes, it did go down. It's back up. Gosh, I like that pretty well. I, I, I would love more top, but uh, there is no more top uh, uh, available, you know. Uh, you might... Um I'm just thinking about that windscreen. Usually a, a, a foam windscreen is very transparent as far as uh, uh, not attenuating any upper frequencies. Uh, just out of curiosity, though, if, could you pull that uh, windscreen and we just uh, hear that microphone without the foam windscreen for just for a moment? Sure, absolutely. I did have some more top in on the 3.0 kilohertz. I took it all the way. It was on... Uh, plus four and I put it on plus six. That may give it a little bit, but hold on, I'm taking off the phone now. All right. Okay, this is uh, without the uh, phone cover. Uh, this is just a straight microphone and I'm about maybe three, four inches away. Yeah, I, I didn't hear any difference, so go ahead and put your uh, your phone windscreen back on. The, the, those are just so beautiful as far as being able to operate the microphone um, in a multitude of ways and distances and everything. You still are subject to uh, proximity effect uh, when you move up on that microphone and also level, but uh, you're not going to pick up uh, too much uh, mouth noise with those uh, phone windscreens, Roger. Oh, okay, Roger that. Okay. Um is it still looking pretty good on the scope? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just, like I say, I wish we had more top end. All right, what's the one above 2.7K? Uh, 3.0K, and I moved it from plus 4 all the way up as well. Yes, sir. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have another uh, Electro Voice mic around, would you, that uh, we could uh, double check between mics? I've got three of them. Yeah, hold on. Let me unplug this one, and I'll plug it in another one. All right, so just we're just fiddling around here, Roger, Roger. Info. Okay, here is another RE27. They tell me the other one I was on was better. Does this one sound any different? It sounds a lot fuller on the bottom end than the other one, Roger. Oh, okay. Well, let me. I'll slap. Well, I was going to slide this now away, but it's uh, kind of connected there. Yes, sir. Well, we're just talking right now. Can you talk uh, the way it is? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. I sure can. I've got them all on boom. All right. So the b bottom frequency outside of that unknown thing is uh, starts at 300 cycles, is that right? and you can't change that. 300 cycles, Roger? Yeah, I can move it over one to the point, uh, 0 0.3, I guess, would be the 300 uh, cycles. But you can't do 200 cycles, Roger? No, no. But I've got a lot of adjustment on this one. All right, so um, uh, I, I don't like to use 300 because it's, you know, usually it's too high a frequency. 200 is, is much better. But let's just take that 300 minus two clicks from where it is. Uh, 300 cycles minus two clicks from where it is. Okay. It is on minus four, and that is minus six. Minus six. WA4KM on minus six. All right, to take it down two more. Okay, let's see. We are going down two more to minus, uh, what is that, minus eight now. All righty, and then tell me about, uh, gosh, uh, tell me the best thing you like about ham radio. 
All righty, I had to move the, um, I had to turn up the um, uh, ALC again. There we go. It, it, it wasn't showing any drive, but now it is. Oh, I just love the hobby. I've been in it since 92 or 3, I'm trying to remember, for 30 plus years. And I also enjoy doing AM, and I call a uh, AM net a couple of times a week. Over. Yes, sir. I like that. I like that. It's not a heavy bottom end, but it's uh, very, uh, you know, conversational. Uh, and, uh, again, you would have a lot less problems with uh, a phase cancellation if you were to lose some of the top. Uh, your bottom wouldn't uh, yeah, sally forth away, you know. I mean, uh, your balance is, is very nice, I think, and I think you'll agree. Uh, we're recording now, and if you wanted to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube, do that call letter search, uh, KC9VK. Uh, followed by the word logbook and uh, I'll have it uploaded to YouTube by noon tomorrow. Roger. Alrighty. Um, let me, um, I was going to write that down and my pen went out. This is WA4KM testing on the Kenwood ES990 RE27 mic um, and uh, we're doing some uh, adjustments here. Uh, WA4KM. Just out of curiosity, another curiosity thing. If you were to pull back uh, three inches further back from that microphone than where you are now, I just want to hear you at that range. Okay. Um, I'm back about maybe a little over a fist away, but the ALC dropped down. And um, when you come back, I'm going to write your call sign again. i got a different pen. That's about three inches farther away than I was. Yeah, I like it where you were uh, before we pulled you away. I like that uh, uh, pretty well, like you were. And uh, the call is uh, Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, KC9 VKV, name is Jim. And we're located uh, just across the Ohio River from Louisville, Kentucky. We're on the Indiana side of the Ohio River right at Louisville. Roger. Okay, VKV, I got you here, KC9, VKD. Well, I appreciate it. I, I, people have told me about you uh, doing this. That's the reason I tuned in, and I've got a bunch of these radios. And I said, well, let me um, tune in and um, get some, uh, and I I've, I've have seen some of your videos, and I appreciate you taking time to uh, help me with this. Yes, sir. My pleasure, sir. You know, uh, I think uh, the whole thing about amateur radio is uh, folks helping folks. Uh, that is one of the great things about our Elmer program. Uh, sometimes, though, uh, you know, our um, our quasi Elmers uh, get off on those special frequencies and uh, you know that they are entitled to uh, but uh, they uh, become less of service to their uh, their newbies so uh, you know we're trying to uh, to get everybody sounding great Roger well I appreciate it uh, what you're doing and I'm sure others do too as well <laughs> I, I do um, uh, have a couple other ones before I I guess it would be the mids looks like they're all zero except for this other one next to it uh, before I get to the mids and it's uh, 0 0.6 I don't know if you want to hear that or do anything with that by any chance over uh, sure yeah what radio is that it's the same radio. It's just on the EQ. It's still the 990. I'm, it's just right between on the bottom end. It's between the bottom and before it gets to the mid. I wouldn't change a thing. I would keep it just exactly the way it is, Roger. Okay. All right. Well, then I will do it. Um, I appreciate it. It looks pretty good. I'm looking on this scope. It's 990 Kenwood has a scope on it as well. And when I'm talking on the auto scope, it does look like it's kind of uh, the peaks are all the way across on it now. Yes, sir. Now, what you can do is uh, leave your ALC meter out for the next couple of weeks. I mean, you've got to have something to do, you know, as you're talking to folks. So, uh, you know, a lot of folks keep their uh, SWR meter out. I prefer to keep my ALC meter out. And, uh, you know, uh, over a couple of weeks uh, watching that ALC meter as you speak, and you might have to tweak your your mic level just a little bit to keep it in that uh, two-thirds sweet spot. But after a couple of weeks, uh, you, uh, you will have developed a relationship with that AOC meter, right here? Sir, I'm with you. I don't run ALC 24-7. Uh, I'm with you. I don't run ALC 24-7. Uh, and I have for years. And uh, I got the LP100 uh, watt meter that I see the watts and the SWR along with the HF also. I, I never put the radio on nothing but the ALC. And then occasionally I will check the compression or the processor.
Do we have any homosexuals out here? Over? Station uh, calling. Uh, this is KC9VKV. This is a control network. Uh, uh, right now in Cuso with the kin down in Georgia. If you'd stand by just a moment. We're just about to wrap up. Okay, very well. I'm both here in the group. I'm sorry, uh, it's Kevin. I'm sorry. I, I meant to tell you that, uh, Jim. It's Kevin uh, instead of Ken. My apologies. I thought you said Ken earlier, but it's Kevin. Kilo Echo Victor, India, Norway. Roger. Kevin. Okay, Kevin. Roger, Roger. I got you, buddy. Well, I sure appreciate you taking time. Looks like I won't, uh, looks like there's some others wanting to get in here, and I really, really appreciate you, uh, taking time, and I know you do that as uh, some of my other friends have told me, and, uh, thank you so, so much for helping me. Yes, sir. My pleasure, uh, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Old habits die quick. Anyway, Kevin, uh, 73, sir. Have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend, and uh, if you get a chance, join us next uh, Friday. This is the Friday afternoon Kiss of Vlog Net, and there's another station out there. Another station. Uh, come back with your call sign, please, uh, phonetically. Victor Echo 3, Papa, Charlie, Papa. Papa, Charlie, Papa, Roger, Roger. You get back on your base? Yeah, Kiss all I am sitting in the... Roger, Roger. Well, I don't have my uh, access to my uh, my uh, favorite SDRs. I'm, I I don't know. I'm I'm uh, down in Arlington or somewhere. I, my my uh, Milford is not available. I'm about tw number twenty in a waiting list uh, on uh, on Milford. So gosh, I I guess I've exposed that uh, SDR to too well, and uh, that is my go-to SDR, so I'm actually pretty lost almost without that, but anyway, uh, gosh, uh, we got to get out of here, so let me say uh, 73, and good to hear you, Roger, Roger. Uh, we got to get out of here, so let me say uh, 73, and good to hear you, Roger, Roger. Hey, XL, and uh, I have added a bit of compression on my audio as well, I'm not sure uh, uh, whether it's sounding okay down there or not, uh, but I added a little bit, so hopefully it uh, sounds okay. Anyway, uh, good chatting, Jim73, and we'll catch up with you again another day. KC9BKB, uh, VE3PCP. Roger, Roger. Usually you suggest a uh, 3 out of uh, uh, 10 or 30 out of 100 on the compression level. It's uh, something that you, you'll never really hear on the air, but it, uh, it really does a, a great job as far as getting to that uh, 3 dB dynamic range at the end of the uh, uh, setup procedure. Roger. 3 dB dynamic range at the end of the uh, uh, setup procedure. Roger. Yeah, well, uh, with my remote uh, software and so forth, uh, I usually uh, have not uh, had it in and didn't really need it, but uh, I had a, a little bit in, and uh, uh, it's, uh, I have listened to it on some SDRs, and it seems to sound okay. But uh, anyway, good chatting this afternoon, uh, Gen 73. I'll let you get going there. Uh, KC9 BKB, E3 PCC, 73. Roger, Roger, up Northland. Stay warm, 73. And I see by the clock on the wall there's a dead fly. So we got to get out of here uh, since uh, 3.30 uh, we've been uh, broadcasting live and recording all the way. And if you participated in today's uh, radio show and want to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word uh, logbook, that will take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 2,500 QSO Vlog air check recordings, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. So we got to get out of here and uh, return this frequency back to normal amateur radio use. This is KC9 VKV Clear. This is KC9 VKV Clear. November 3 with the Victoria Bravo. Charlie 9, Victor Kilo, Victor and 3 WVV.
Yes, sir. Uh, whiskey, uh, something there. Come back slowly, uh, phonetically, with your call sign, Roger. Uh, something there. Come back slowly, uh, phonetically, with your call sign, Roger. Thank you. November 3, Whiskey Victoria Bravo. November 3, West Virginia Baseball. My name is Chuck, and I'm located in the state of Ohio. All right, Chuck, uh, I think you've got uh, some RF in your AF, buddy. Yeah, you're pretty distorted, so I would work on um, uh, trying to figure out how to get rid of that RF in the AF. Uh, it's causing severe distortion in your audio. And uh, I would suggest there's an old thing called a field strength meter left over from the CB days. Now, amazingly enough, this thing does a beautiful job of uh, tracking uh, HF uh, RF. And uh, uh, I'm going to say this uh, at the moment. If, I, if you're on a power amp, dump your power amp and come back to me uh, barefoot. Roger? Dump your power amp and come back to me uh, barefoot. Roger? No, I'm not on the amp. The amplifier is off. Um, how about now? Is this any better at all? Um, I have turned the audio down a bit. Yes, sir. You're just beautiful. Just beautiful that way. It's uh, you're getting RF from your power amp back into your audio. Roger, Roger. You're getting RF from your power amp back into your audio. Roger, Roger. Okay, I, I didn't touch a power amp. I, I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. A power amp. I turned the audio down. I turned my audio down. All right. Well, then let's just do a setup uh, real quick and see uh, if that maybe that's the answer. Uh, first thing is to uh, make sure you're in that uh, 100 to 2900 transmit bandwidth. 100 to 2900 transmit bandwidth. Are you familiar with that? Bandwidth. 100 to 2900 transmit bandwidth. Are you familiar with that? Not at all. No, I've only been playing since I've been nine. I'm 64, so I have no idea. No. Um, um, huh. uh, to my knowledge, I'm on 7188, and um, the audio was turned up too loud. Now I turned the audio down, but the distortion went away. Right now? I, uh, well, oh gosh, uh, uh, it's, it's sounding a whole lot better. I think you did the right thing turning the audio down. We have a setup procedure, but I, I don't know if you would be interested in that. It uh, it starts with you, uh, you know, is that an older radio or a newer radio? It starts with you, uh, you know, is that an older radio or a newer radio? This is an FT-847, an FT-847 Yaesu. And, um, yeah, that's it. Uh, the microphone is an MC. 100 mic. Uh, again, is that an older radio or a newer radio? Uh, again, is that an older radio or a newer radio? No, it was, it's about, uh, let me think, uh, I'd say 20 years old. Well, there you go. There you go. So you don't have uh, selectable bandwidths. <laughs> You're probably at 2.4 uh, on your bandwidth, Roger. Yeah, you're probably at 2.4 uh, on your bandwidth, Roger. I have no idea. I hope. I don't know. Yes, sir. Well, uh, you know, our normal setup procedure starts with you engaging your compressor at a three. It's a token amount. You'll never hear it on the air, but it helps us arrive at our uh, uh, three dB dynamic range at the end of the setup procedure. Makes you uh, uh, particularly fat, but very clean, Roger. Makes uh, you uh, particularly fat, but very clean, Roger. Okay, not a problem at all. Hey, I appreciate your time. I know you want to jump out of here anyway. You've been on for a long time, you said. Take care, 73, and thank you for all of your help. Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo, Victor, November 3, Whiskey, Victoria Bravo, 73. Roger, what is the name there? What is the name there? Roger, what is the name there? What is the name there? My name is Charles, but I prefer going by Chuck. Chuck. And I'm located in Lake Tomahawk, Ohio, outside of Nagley, but I have another home in Pittsburgh. So I have two locations. This is our lake house, and the other home is in Pittsburgh. Roger, Roger, check in. Uh, what radio is that you're running? Roger, Roger, check in. Uh, what radio is that you're running? The radio is an FC8 847 Yesu, which is about 20 years old. 
Roger, Roger. Sounds good, sir. I, I would, uh, if I got a chance, uh, and if you have an EQ on board, I would crank in a couple of clicks more treble EQ uh, just to help your intelligibility just uh, slightly. You're, 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 you're pretty good, but uh, you could use just a little more articulation, Roger. You're pretty good, but uh, you could use just a little more articulation, Roger. I appreciate that so very much. Thank you. I'll, I'll look into doing that. Not a problem at all. Okay, take care. 7-3, Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. Thanks for all the help. And if the band conditions were good enough, I had a little bit more time, we could experiment. But uh, right now is not a good time. 7-3 from N3, WBB. Thank you. Roger, Roger, check 73, sir. Have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend. And we got to get out of here, return this frequency back to normal amateur radio use. This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, clear. This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, clear.